Hi everyone, welcome, it's Hector, and today um, I have another video for you guys, but I know I haven't posted in the last couple of weeks, uh, reason being I was really sick, and it was really hard for me to make a video or even have a conversation. I had a really nasty cough, I had some wheezing going on, uh, I had some family members with very similar symptoms, and same thing at work, so it was just really, really rough, um, but... You know, it is what it is. I feel much better now, and I feel much more comfortable being able to, you know, make a video, be able to talk, and not feel like I'm, you know, tired, out of breath. Um, and today I wanted to talk about the storage for my candles. So a lot of the times, a lot of the times I have, um, you know, I have, I have had the videos of a different setup. Um, I had the. Um, I think it was like the signature sense. I had two different shelves that connected and that's how I was able to really display all of my uh, signature scents. So that was pretty fun, but I felt like I needed something new. I wanted something different. Um, and so that led me to purchasing some new shelves. Um, I purchased the other ones that I had. They were about maybe, maybe about two years old. Yeah, like a, roughly around like two years old. And I was kind of just like tired with like the setup and I just felt like I wanted to display them in a different way. Um, so yeah, that's what I ended up doing. Um, I was really, really sick and I was building these shelves. Um, but my sister did help me. So that really helped out a lot. I think it was about, so it was four shelves and it took me around like, it took us around like 40, no, sorry, like two hours, two hours and a half. Um, so shout out to her for helping me out. So, yeah, so the way that I have them now, um, I think I like them more. Um, the person really that inspired me to go this route was um, Bren from YouTube. I really love, I really, really like watching her videos. Um, she doesn't post as much anymore, but she used to post, um, fo um, what's it called, uh, candle reviews. She would talk about certain collections. She would talk about... Um, things that are new, things that are, you know, interesting. She would talk about test, uh, test store scents, and that always really intrigued me. So, um, if you haven't checked her out, check her out. Her reviews are awesome. Um, so she has a video that she had posted, I want to say like 2018-ish, and, um, she was talking about how she moved in into a new place, and how she has these custom made shelves and it was super cool the way that they were displayed and how how many she had and I just really really liked it it kind of gave me like a library vibe and so that's kind of what I wanted to replicate but in a um, more like a in a wall situation essentially what I want here is to have a wall full of candles I have space to put two more to this side which it's in the works just because I like, you know, collecting based off of the collections that um, are new or sorry. Well, yeah, new ones or old candles. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much what led me to, you know, purchasing these shelves and these specific ones. So, um, yeah, I mean, I purchased these all four of these shelves, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. They were around like $80 a piece. Um, they came like in two, three days, so super, super quick shipping. Um, assembling them was pretty easy, um, considering I was sick. Um, and so, yeah, they're about like seven feet tall. Um, I'm 6'2", so they are definitely taller than me. They have about six, uh, sorry, seven different, um, I guess, shelves, seven different tiers. And I didn't put anything on the very top one just because I kind of felt like it was a little bit of overkill. Um, but yeah, I purchased four of them. It took me about four days to really put all my candles in. Um, the way that I've, you know, store them, I group all of my white barn core candles. They look like, um, they look like this, just the ones that are, you know, um, just out, um, usually don't really have a design. It's just a, a simple colored jar. So I group all of those candles, all of the neutrals collections um, candles throughout these last couple of years. And they 
they serve as a filler, I guess, um, to put in the very back of all of these shelves. So to give more context, um, each shelf, we'll use this one, um, each shelf holds 24 candles. Um, and the way that I have them um, organized is there's three, um, I'm able to fit three across, three high, and also three deep. So the very, very last um, uh, layer of, of, of this candle last row, I have nine. And the second one, I have six. And the first one here, it's nine as well. So the reason I did that was because if I was able to fill them up with all um, 27 candles, I don't know if I said 24, 27, but I have 24. But if I was, a, I was able to fill up to 27, the thing that was a little weird was when you put all your candles facing, you know, facing this way, facing the front, um, there is like a tiny little space that, for example, this, um, this metal piece has on, on, um, on the inside. And it doesn't allow for all three candles across to lay flat um, onto the bottom wooden piece onto here. And so what I ended up doing was the second row, that's why, like I mentioned, I have six on the second one. The left and the right, they have three and three. So the one in the middle is empty. So I use the very middle um, middle part or the middle, um, the middle row here. Um, and I pushed it in just a tad bit. So the left and the right are still in the front. So it's kind of like a little V. And that's how I ended up making it work. Um, I did my measurements, but I was off just by literally centimeters. So, I mean, it, I did what I could, you know, and I made it work. And honestly, I think that I, I like it better just because it kind of gives it a little bit more of a dimension maybe I don't know it's a little bit more interesting than just kind of having all nine candles facing the front at the same time you know so I don't know I like it this way so I decided to keep them that way um, so yeah um, based off of how I organize them the ones to my left um, both of them I interchange between summer and spring and these are winter and fall um, I did notice that I have more of these uh, winter and fall candles just because I really, really enjoy that time the most. Um, but there are some exceptions in terms of the collections and the colors and the scents of the candles. Like, for example, um, these three came out, of, I want to say, like two years ago, and they came out in the springtime. But you can kind of interchange them um, every now and then to kind of fit what you're trying to, to make. So, you know, there's a couple exceptions that I have that it's not 100%, you know, fall, winter, and um, spring and summer. Uh, but for the most part, I try to keep them separate just for aesthetic purposes. Um, yeah, so when I make my, um, the way that I organize them, like I mentioned, is based off color, collection, and scent. Um, the more older a candle is, the more exclusive or the more rare, the more expensive it is. So those are the ones that I like to display the most. So as you can see, uh, for example, this one, butternut squash, um, autumn mums, and uh, farm stand apple. Um, I wasn't around when these candles when these candles came about. Um, so being able to purchase some candles that you know came out a couple years ago or some time ago is really really fun, and that's really how I um, build my collection. Um, I, you know, I still purchase some of the new ones. I purchase mostly from older candles through, you know, I've always talked about it, like through Poshmark, eBay, um, Mercari, Offera, Facebook Marketplace, those kind of sites. Um, and so it leads me to, you know, the collection that I have now. So it's been really, really fun being able to do that. Um, and kind of going back as to how I arrange them. Um, like I said, it's color, collection, and scent. I try not to repeat. Um, I try not to repeat scents that are being displayed. I try to keep it at maybe one, maximum two. Um, but I mean, I try my best. Um, a lot of the times, I like purchasing three to four in one collection and um, using one of the candles to kind of change it up a little bit. You know, in terms of how they're being displayed. So you know, like. This one here, for example, cross is all yellow. 
um, you've got like the purples and then you've got the like the reds and so um, that's how I've been displaying them again it's all for aesthetic purposes and that's why I don't burn my candles because I like popping them back into my collection um, I warm my candles uh, like I mentioned before and it's just so aesthetically pleasing being able to you know take it off the warmer after a couple of hours letting it cool letting it solidify completely putting it right back into your collection and you keep rotating throughout your collection um, there are some candles that are for only collection that I don't plan on using even warming them but for the most part most of these candles have been already warmed um, and so that's kind of really how I keep a rotation of them um, every so often once I build certain collections or certain colors that's when I kind of go in and start filtering through what I have and readjusting or, or um, just switching them out swapping them out again based on those collections um, the colors and the scents so that's how I ended up with all these kind of candles and that's how I ended up um, displaying them some of them aren't 100% exact colors or anything like that but that's kind of okay based off of you know if it's close enough right so I give myself grace with that it's not something that I'm super super anal about but I do enjoy having candles that are, um, again, based off of the color and the collection. They just look more aesthetically pleasing. Um, so yeah, it's been really, really fun being able to do all of this. Um, just because it's a really fun hobby to really just move things around, purchase new scents, um, seeing what else is out there. So um, yeah, you know, that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, and it's been really fun. It's been super easy to access all my candles. Um, I try to keep uh, repeats behind where, wherever they're being displayed. Um, and so that's kind of how really I go about it when it comes to um, organizing my candles. And it's really, really fun just being able to sit there and admire candles and see everything. And again, it's that plus for the aesthetic purposes of having like a wall of candles um just because it looks nice you know it looks nice um it makes me feel happy you know i know to some people it might be a bit um a bit much but hey you know like i feel like i'm not hurting anybody i i usually you know that's what i tell myself i'm not hurting anybody um nobody's hurting me um i'm not putting myself in danger i'm not putting others in danger and it's just a fun hobby you know it's just really fun being able to um experience um being in a candle community as well that has its own whole other world it's really really cool being a part of that so um yeah so that is pretty much um what i have for today um if you guys are interested to see or um to know about a certain candle a little bit more let me know i would love to be able to share with you guys or if there's a candle that um you want to know if i have just let me know um, and I'll try to get back to you guys. Um, I was thinking of doing some reviews. Um, I know that a lot of these older candles already have reviews, but these reviews came out, you know, when the candle itself came out. So I feel like it would be fun to have an, a new interpretation as to from when it came out to now, um, including all candles that have come out um, since then, just because some of them have might be repackages, um, some of them might be um, you know, it reminds me of, but it's not exactly the same candle. And I find that to always be really fun just to kind of see what, what's new and, um, what's different. So yeah, um, that pretty much, um, is, is it for today. Um, I do have a couple other videos lined up. Um, and like I said, I know it's been quite some time since I filmed. I do have a video coming up with um, a haul that I had about like three weeks ago and I'm just getting to it. Um, but I just felt like it'd be fun to kind of share and see what, um, what I picked up. Um, and of course I'm going to try to include any new candles from these third party sites just because I feel like it's kind of fun. Um, it's kind of like a, you know, like a treasure hunt, really. 
But um, yeah, be on the lookout for that. I will try to um, stick to some sort of uploading schedule just because, like I said, I do feel much better. And I know that the Bridgerton collection is out, so I really want to pick up a couple of those candles. But, um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for returning. Thank you so much for, um, for tuning in. And I hope to really see you guys um, on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.